if you have a lot of bleed back around uh, where the sheaths or the leads are entering the central venous circulation, um, this technique is very helpful in reducing that bleed back. And this may also occur um, following fibroclasty. Uh, when you see the balloon tail in the, the inflated tail of the balloon in the pocket. Um, but it hop, happens most frequently when you have multiple um, leads through one access um, and, and high central venous pressures. So the idea is that you uh, use a curved needle and an absorbable suture uh, is past central and under the access. So you you want to make sure that the entrance point uh, with a big curved needle goes under um, and then comes back out over here um, and you have this absorbable suture. And then we're going to use uh, this device which is actually used uh, in open heart surgery for cannulating um, the left atrium. Um, and it consists of this little plastic fish hook and a piece of soft rubber tubing. Uh, it just happens to be that it conveniently comes in a package uh, for that purpose. And so once you get the suture underneath, and it's very important that the suture passes underneath where the leads are, uh, deep to it, then you catch the um, suture with this little fish hook and then you pull the suture up. The suture is pulled out of the rubber tubing and then you can adjust tension as needed uh, during the case using a small hemostat. So if you need more occlusion here, uh, you just pull tighter on the uh, absorbable suture and then put the hemostat down tight against um, the um, entry point. To create this vein occluder, we modify an existor standard hemostasis device used in the OR uh, for cannulation. And so in the package, you get these two plastic um, fish hooks and then a piece of soft rubber tubing. And so what we do is to just cut off the rubber tubing um, and um, like this. Sometimes this hook is metal, depending on what your OR uses, and sometimes it's the plastic tubing is clear. Uh, it all sort of depends on who you buy from. Um, and if you ever have any question about whether you have these available, um, I found the best way is to show a picture of this and say, this is what I'd like to, like to have. Do you have this? Uh, otherwise, everybody goes back and forth about what to call it. Um, and it's, uh, it's you, you, without this rubber tubing, you don't get the, the same level of hemostasis that you get. So that's what we refer to as the vein occluder. And again, it's very helpful when you have high central venous pressure and a lot of bleed, black, bleed back up near your access. And the most important point is that the suture is central to where the leads enter uh, the vein or through the muscle and, under, and underneath so that uh, it, it occludes, it's that, the, that the suture is being pulled uh, around uh, the exit point. I hope you find this useful.